Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Justina and here I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you through my DIYs. As you see by today's title, I have another Dollar Tree DIY video for you, this time for Valentine's Day. It is never too early to start preparing for the next holiday and I kind of like decorating for Valentine's Day. We don't go extremely all out, but we do decorate here and there, at least for my little ones. Now, today's video is going to be mostly about these Dollar Tree resin and hardener that you can find in their crafter square section at least at my Dollar Tree. Now each one of these is a dollar 25 so you have to spend 250 to get one of these but they are exactly equivalent in the ratio which is very important when working with resin. Now I particularly did not buy these from Dollar Tree. I bought the bigger size at Walmart just because I was going to do a couple of projects and I wanted to spend a, that little extra just so I had enough. If you're just making one or two projects, this will be the perfect size. However, if you're making multiple projects, I believe buying the bigger sizes is a money saver in that scenario. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it and let's art today. there are many ways to use resin and all different types of things that you can make. However, I am brand new to this. I am not a professional, so please make sure to read all the information needed before starting a new project. I just wanted to give it a try. So the first thing I want to make are some coasters. I found these wooden coasters from Walmart. They were around six to seven dollars, which I thought was a little steep. However, they gave me the greatest little compartment to start off my first DIY and I really love the wood texture. Now I am going to make obviously Valentine's Day coasters so I wanted to go with really bright and vibrant colors which is this pastel light pink and turquoise color. I'm going to paint two in blue and two in pink and I gave it about two to three coats on each coaster. I do paint all in the inside and the outside as well. However, you can also paint them red for this DIY project. It will turn out looking awesome. I really thought it came out super cute. Like I mentioned, I did give it a couple coats and I paint the front and back. Make sure it's completely dry before moving on to add on the second and third coat. Now this one, I got a little crazy with the paint, so I'm just uh, scooping it out and putting it on the next coaster, but they did turn out super cute. Here is what they look like after they're completely dry and as you see I did do the front and back. Now to decorate these coasters I am going to use a Dollar Tree conversation hearts. Now I must admit these conversation hearts there was a lot of um, mess ups on them however this DIY turned out super cute so if you want to maybe get the better quality of conversation hearts at maybe Walmart or a different store I suggest going there however for this DIY I really didn't mind that they were kind of messed up it still turned out super cute so like I said some of these came out a little bit wonky but it still added a little bit of character to each so the first thing I wanted to do was separate each heart into their own color just so I know how much of each color I had in one bag. Now I must admit the pinks and the light orange were the shortest amount of colors in each bag, but I did have enough to at least put one or two in each coaster. After I had them all separated and nicely assorted, here is my leftover pieces so that I can work on the other two off camera, because I'm just going to show you the first two that I do here. Now, I didn't know exactly how I wanted to arrange each, but I did know that I wanted it to be very colorful, so then I started putting it on the outside and then working my way in a circle. After I had the first circle laid out, as you see here, I just started adding hearts within that circle and then moving them around until the whole thing was completely filled. Now, there are some gaps and stuff that you can fill it up with other pieces if you wanted to, but I did not mind the gaps. I really think that having those gaps made it look 
little bit more cutesy and made it look a little bit full. So after I have enough hearts in my little coaster, as you see here, I'm just pushing it along just to maybe add a little bit more and have it filled. Now that both of my coasters are nice and filled, I first thought I needed to hot glue them down because I wasn't sure if they were going to float after I poured in the resin. However, I did not finish gluing them down because after watching a couple of YouTube videos, and reading the instructions, I didn't think I needed to. So I stopped gluing them down because some of those little hairs from the glue gun were getting into the coaster and I didn't want that to show. As you see here, I did want to add a little sparkle. So I'm just adding a little bit of glitter right on top. Now here is the resin that I bought from Walmart. It's the Mod Podge resin, which since I've been using it has been working really well. I consider it a good resin. However, once again, I am not a professional and please make sure you read all of the safety tips before using this product because it can be very dangerous if you don't use it correctly. Now I'm just getting all of the things that I need to start doing the resin which is some paper cups, some gloves, and I also have a popsicle stick. Now I also want to mention to be in a well ventilated area. I have both of my windows open right where I'm creating just so I don't breathe in any of those fumes. Now, the really important part of using resin is to have the same ratio. This is a one-to-one -one ratio, it says in the instructions, so you want to have the same amount of resin to your hardener. So if you do use Dollar Tree's resin, would only need to use one bottle of each and then mix it together because they are both one fluid ounce. Now for my particular resin, I just had to eyeball it. You can measure it by using weight if you needed to. However, like I said, I am not a professional. I am still learning. So I just went with the flow and hopefully it turned out good, which it did. So I am just mixing both of them together. I poured out the same amount in each cup and then I am pouring one cup into the other and then in my instructions it says to mix for about three minutes so that is what I am doing here. Now they do say in a lot of videos to mix slowly so you don't get a lot of bubbles because bubbles is not a good thing in your resin projects however you can always pop those bubbles later as I will show you. However you really want to make sure this is really nice and stirred in so that it will harden correctly. After I was done mixing I am just going to pour it right over my conversation hearts and inside of the coaster. Now I was a little bit nervous by starting this however you just want to pour in a little at a time so that I can take my popsicle stick and now push it into all of the cracks and crevices that are located on my coaster. This really helps me to make sure that I got an even layer on top of my coaster and I also pat it down just to get rid of some of the air bubbles as well. Once I was done with that it was now time to get rid of some of the air bubbles. Now in the instructions, it says use a lighter or a heating gun, which I didn't have my heating gun, so I grabbed a lighter and this does work. However, I was using the wrong lighter, which I change up later, but this did pop some of those bubbles and this is how it looks with all of the bubbles popped nice and clear. I continued doing it to the rest of the coasters and this is how they turned out. I absolutely love it. They are are super adorable. It is nice and hard and you can place your cold drinks right on top without worrying about damaging that wood piece underneath. I think this would be an adorable addition to your Valentine's Day decor or a super cute gift. right into our next DIY, I have this Dollar Tree charger, which they carry all year round in my crafting stash that I want to give a nice makeover. So the first thing I want to do is paint it with my folk art home decor chalk paint in the color Imperial Red, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. I do give it about two coats of paint just to make sure it was nice and opaque. Plus, I wanted this to be really bright and vibrant. Once I was done painting, I did place that to the side to completely dry. Here's how it looks after two coats 
of the paint and I didn't want it to just be a plain tray so I found this XOXO galvanized um, sign in my stash. I believe Dollar Tree does still sell these in a three pack. It, I believe it, one says love, the other one's XOXO, and I can't remember if the other one just says Valentine's Day. So I first am going to add some gold paint right on top of this. And as you see here, I just dotted the paint right on top and I'm just using a paintbrush to spread it out. Now I did not paint this completely covered because I am going to cover it using these metal flakes from Dollar Tree. As you see here, it was in their plus section for $3, but I figured it is a great price because you do get a lot of those flakes, especially for little projects like this. It is a good price because you can use it for a long period of time. So I'm just taking out some of those flakes and placing it right on the wet paint and this adheres down nicely. I don't need any extra glue or anything. It will just stick to the paint. I still didn't worry about covering the whole thing in those flakes as well because I still wanted this to have a little bit of character. After I was done placing down my metal flakes, I took a dry paintbrush and I just started removing the excess. All you need to do is just swipe the sides of your letters and it does fall off. After I was done removing the excess, it was now time to attach the word down to my tray and to do so, I am just using my hot glue gun. I do have a Gorilla Glue stick. I like using that because it does adhere down nicely. Nicely. However, I do know that some metals and hot glue do not mix well, but this is just to hold it into place so I know exactly where it's going to sit in my tray. That way when I add my resin, it will not move. The next thing I wanted to add was some of these wooden lips from Dollar Tree and I'm just adding one on each side. Now to add a little bit more detail, I'm taking some of that leftover um metal flakes and adding it right on top of my tray and I'm just pushing it down so that it doesn't move so that when I do add the resin right on top it has more of that gold flakes on the bottom. Next all I needed to do was mix up my resin and pour it on. Now I didn't show me mixing the resin because I already showed you. Once again you have to have a one-to-one -one ratio and since this tray is long and large I did work in small batches. That way I had time to move the resin around with my popsicle stick and have enough time to whip up another batch of resin so I can pour it right on top of the first batch. Now, like I said, I am pushing it around once again with a popsicle stick because there was some space underneath my XOXO. So I wanted to make sure it got underneath so that everything had an even layer. Once I was done with my mixture, like I said, I added my second mixture right on top of my first layer, making sure to get in spaces that I didn't have enough resin on. Once I had had that poured on, I then took my popsicle stick, moved it all around to make sure that it was even and well incorporated all over my tray. Then I patted it down and once again I did pop those air bubbles using a lighter. At least this time I had the correct lighter. Now you can also find these lighters at Dollar Tree. They are the grill lighters and they also have the smaller stick lighters. I don't know what to call them, but they help so that you don't have to stick your hand in the resin. And as you see here, it does pop the bubbles. But once I was done with that, I did set it to the side and that completes this DIY. Moving right into our next DIY, I just want to make a nice Valentine's decor piece. So I have one of these wooden houses from Dollar Tree. Now I try to remove the tag on the back, but I realized I didn't need to because I am not going to show the back of it. Next, I want to give this house a couple of coats of my Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White. I waited for the paint to dry completely before adding my second coat. That way this house is nice and open 
opaque and bright white. After it had time to completely dry with the second coat on, here is how it looks and it's super white. <laughs> Next, I want to add some of these foam hearts from Dollar Tree. They come 24 in a pack and I really like this because you could do a lot of DIYs using these little foam pieces. I am just going to collect a couple of them and start placing them inside of the house just to see where I want them to adhere down to and have some sort of pattern. So I really liked this pattern. And then I took my hot glue gun and just added a little dollop of hot glue on the back of the heart and pressed it down to the house so that it was nice and adhered and it didn't float when I added my resin on top of it. Everything was glued down. I did mix up my mixture off camera. Once again, I used the same ratio one to one and mixed it up for three minutes. Next, I'm just pouring it right over my little foam hearts that are inside of the box. Once again, I do do small batches so that I have time to really get it to places where I want, pop all of the bubbles, and then work on my second batch, which then I just poured right on top of my first batch here. Then I waited for it to dry completely, and that completes this DIY. Okay, friends, that completes today's DIYs. I had a blast making each and every one of these. I have to say hands down, my favorite would probably be the coasters first, then the tray, and then my little decor piece. But I would love to know which one was your favorite down in the comment section below. Now, once again, I am not a professional. If you do try to recreate some of these DIYs, please make sure to read the instructions on any type of resin make sure that you tend to use and all of the safety precautions that come with it. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you do that today. All you have to do is click on that big red subscribe button down below. It is totally free, but don't forget to click on the bell notification so that YouTube can always notify you every time I upload a new video. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you, and I do hope that you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really does help out my channel along with sharing and commenting. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.